Rumors point to the next Google Pixels all getting curved OLED displays. The Nokia 9 is tipped to finally be the flagship that we've been waiting for, and Samsung has just crushed absolutely every pre-order in its history. I'm Jaime Rivera, and for those of you asking about the cool t-shirts, follow the first link to Ripped Apparel, and then the coupon code will give you a 10% discount. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with new product announcements. We've got the new ZTE Quartz Android Wear smartwatch that now works on T-Mobile. And the reason why this watch is cool is not because it's round. It is not because it's probably got the largest Android Wear battery out there at 500 milliamp hours, but really the fact that this thing just costs $200. We cannot wait for a review unit to arrive to tell you more about it. Now, how about if we talk about the Nokia 9? And the reason why this is so important is because Nokia has not necessarily made anybody happy lately with the fact that it has stayed away from flagships all this time. Now we're hearing that its latest and greatest Nokia 9 might land very soon. We're talking about a Snapdragon 835 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, options for 64 and 128 gigs of storage, and I don't need to hear any more Nokia. When do I get my device? Now how about if we talk about a device that I have been waiting for and am kind of not waiting for anymore, the future Surface Pro. The reason why is because we were expecting the Surface Pro 5, a whole new design with absolutely everything. And uh, it turns out that apparently it will not change much when it comes to its looks, it'll change in internals. And trusted sources are really claiming this to be more of a Surface Pro 4.5 instead of a 5. Not exactly sure what the name will be. What we do notice is that Microsoft has already kind of teased the fact that it's working on a speaker that's gonna be powered by Cortana because everybody's doing that now. We're just waiting for a Siri speaker now just to, just, I don't know. Let's move the spotlight over to Samsung. For those of you wondering exactly what the company was claiming a few days ago, that it was gonna break records, it has broken records when it comes to its pre-orders in Korea. The company has announced that it pretty much pre-ordered or pre-sold, should we say, 550,000 units. That is a crazy amount. It's pretty much the most the company has ever done. These are great numbers. It could only make us imagine how much the company has sold outside of Korea. We can't wait to get those numbers, even though Samsung doesn't really always make them official. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Google Pixel 2, or Pixel whatever that thing is going to be called, or those things, should I say, because apparently we're getting up to three devices. One of these may be a tablet, or it could be a really affordable smartphone. But the point being is that Google is apparently trying to secure as many OLED displays as it can from LG, up to the point where the company is prepaying for them, pretty much like what Apple does to be able to secure as many parts of whatever it wants. Now, the number is just insane. Apparently, Google is willing to invest $880 million. And I think that number is like seriously $880 million just to secure this OLED supply from LG. And we're talking about curved displays. So we could be looking into some amazing changes in design for the future pixels. Uh, we cannot wait to see what we get, but it leads me to the question of the day. Uh, do you think that moving to a curved display would be a good move for the Pixel? In my case, I don't know. I've, I've used curved displays. I've used non-curved displays. I still drift more to non-curved just for the ergonomics. Sure, the curved displays look beautiful, but then again, I want to be able to use my phone. But leave us a comment down below. This is one opinion I cannot wait to read from you. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.